on top. Yeah. We made a hole underneath. Right. It. And sometimes we stayed there for days. Did the peasants who was it your farm or peasants? Or, peasants. And they didn't rat you out? No, obviously. Because it's luck. I did something to tell you. We used to buy when we were in the forest. Yeah. And we bought potatoes. My father bought potatoes from her, her son. And when they made the attack in the, in the forest, yeah. we wound up in our um, farmhouse. Yeah. And in those days, every single that you had was always in dollars. Every what? Everything that you saved was always in dollars. Dollars? You had dollars? Really? You want to know what's the like, like market talk to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but why didn't they just like, you know, turn you, I mean, I'm just curious, why didn't they turn you, they were, these were, not, these, I guess I'm trying to take to you. But they could have stolen your money. Well, that's what luck is about. Yeah, right. After the, after the fact, you say he was smart, that's bullshit. Yeah. Mine was my wife, living in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. complaining my front, my, my skirt is not dressed, right? Well, I was underneath the pig, pissing on my mouth. Right. And then the point I want to trade you, how do you become a father when you will never a father? Right. Yeah. Well, that's why we do give my grant my. How long were you hiding? How long were you? We were hidden there for 19 months. 19 months, and then liberated by the Russians. By the Russians. But they were killing you after the war. Of course. Yeah, they were. That's why we left Poland in 1945. To fight to the U.S. No, U.S. was never open. Yeah. I don't think they loved you. I did? I know they did. Yeah. So where'd you go? To uh, DP camp? No, well, we went, we were going to go to Israel. Mm -hmm. The East, it was to Italy. Mm -hmm. So we went into Bratislava. And then Bratislava, we went into Budapest, Hungary. We were supposed to go over the Alps to Italy. But they were capturing the boat at the Exodus. Yeah. So my father switched the direction and went into Austria. Mm -hmm. And the Austrian border was Graz. Graz was Graz. by the British. Very tough. Mm -hmm. Then we smuggled from the British zone into the American zone. Mm -hmm. And that's when we wound up in a deep began for three years. Right. And then the borders opened up. Right. Came to wow. What is a DP camp? Displaced persons. Did you did you do um, have you done uh, Spielberg's no, no. Why not? Listen, can't they say, I am in the Holocaust Museum. In D.C.? No, in Israel, Yad Vashem. Yeah. It's in the book because I honored the woman who saved us. Oh, you did? You understand? Did you ever meet them after the war? Oh, sure. I used to send the money over here to the world. Yeah. She passed away. And uh, the reason I'm telling you this is my father took out $10. And it gave her ten dollars for one night. She was the here in the United States before the First World War. It was a lot of money. Yeah. It tempted her. And then we started. And then some other Polacks told the Germans that this guy was dealing with the Jews, the son. Mm -hmm. So they took him into concentration. Really? So she now is a catch twenty-two. If she says something. So she says, okay, I'm going to hide you, but you have to find a place to Right. And my uncle, she was nice, going to go. So she went to church. And I said, look, every night, our grandson, they took in front of the crucifix and said, if you tell anybody who we hide you, you're going to get killed, your father's going to murder everybody. This is the way that kid went to bed. After, after the war, you know, you know, at least with big bullets, you put them on the uh, head down over you know, the, uh, on the, the stone, yeah. take a stick with a nail, and then they used to hit it, and it just explodes like a rocket. Mm -hmm. Well, this time around, the rocket went to him and killed him. So you asked my You mean they were playing with them? Yeah, sure. Uh, you see, you can't imagine yeah. being a kid, you're looking for the American point of view, yeah. it's completely foolish. You don't know what it means to be hungry. Right. Hungry means 
What time? Is it 2 o'clock? Right, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. Not starving. Um, it was the limit on the... So let me ask you a question. Did you have children? I have, I have two children. I've got seven grandchildren. So the children, because I'm a child of Holocaust survivor. Yes. Yeah. Your kids know the whole story? They know the whole story, but you know what? The environment is very strong. Yes. I started school at 13. Mm-hmm. Never went to school, except from private uh, in the club. You have to understand something about Jews. It's an amazing thing. Is there something I don't know about Jews? <laughs> well, no, because you did not live through this. Uh, right. For nothing, all of a sudden, there's an organization. Yeah. They had the two care kids. My father walked down, uh, most couples in the camp. We got married. Mm-hmm. It was, by the way, organization. an organization. So when I came to the United States, I came in December 48, I turned 13 in February. How old were you when you came to the U.S.? I came to the U.S. You could say I was 13. 13. 1948. I'll never forget, December 24. And I still remember one thing I asked my father. Are we not going to have to run anymore? I mean, yeah. you know. How do you deal with that? Right. You deal with it because you have no choice. You have no choice, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, my kids, if someone grow up, I want it. I said, what do you mean you want it? <laughs> I never knew such a word, I want it. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And what you happens if you come into a restaurant, you behave yourself. Right. You can't behave yourself, get the hell out. Right. You know, yeah, it's a, you know, survivors are a very, you know, particular group of people. Well, because what would you do to survive? Yeah. Why did you never do the Spielberg thing with the video? Okay, why? The video. I'll tell you why. I, I see myself as a dinosaur. Really? Don't forget, I'm, I'm going to be 82 in February. Yeah. Let's say I'm going to go to 110. Let's yeah. Say 120. It's already an end game. But the but no but the point is you we live in a crazy world where people still deny it. Yeah, it's so important may, to may preserve. I, may I ask you something? Sure. The Christian world thinks that, that the Muslims are so bad. Mm-hmm. Did you know the Inquisition in Spain? You know who got killed the Spain Inquisition? A lot of priests. A lot of priests are converted. Mm-hmm. They wanted to make sure that your soul is pure to go to heaven. Right. And, and you go to uh, Ireland, the, 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 uh, the uh, Protestants and the, and the Catholics will kill each other. Mm-hmm. So, and it's all in the books, you right. see it. But your, but your testimony isn't recorded. Oh, but what I want to do is I want to live by it. Ah, you, don't, you don't think future generations no, can learn from your experience? No, no, no. Really? Oh, let, can I tell you something? Um, yeah. I'm going to push you to think. At 82, I realize you can intellectually push it. Mm-hmm. But what are you going to do when the thing comes out? Take a look what's going on in this account. Yeah, it's crazy. These big guys are idiots. <laughs> you know why they eat? Let's say they take everything. Mm-hmm. Who are they going to play with? They're going to self masturbate? Well, apparently Harvey Weinstein does. Well, the, well the only reason, he was nuts. <laughs> and, and what about the other people who knew about it? Exactly. Uh, well, so, but don't mind me saying this. So, I used to tell my kids, hey, listen, tell us. Somebody farts and stinks and you were there. You're right. You're stinking. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me see. Here's my car. What do you do now? I run a laundry equipment company. Oh. What's your name? Tobias White. Tobias, if you ever change your mind and you want to be videotaped, okay. I will arrange it. Okay. I will do it. Okay. Because I think you've got important Maybe stuff. I, I'm not, I don't deny anything anymore, but I realize one thing. Is unless you live, yeah, you have to live. You have to go on. I'm 59 years old. 
Lincoln sent me to come in the summertime. I'm still doing a good long go. Yeah. I do a good feel. Because you got to live. I get it. Not you got to live. Life itself is a process. Yeah. I'm still saying? trying to figure it out. Don't try to figure it out. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. What do you have to figure it out for? <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> if, 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 if this stuff stinks, don't eat it. Right. Tell it to me. That being said, Tobias, I still think his, his, your story should be recorded. Okay. I kind of agree. I never, I never used to talk about it like I'm talking to you now when I was much younger. Never. Because my father never talked about it, but my mother did. Where was he hiding? In, in what, what's now the Ukraine? It's Poland. Uh, in um, in yeah, you wouldn't know, near Chernobyl. Yeah, 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 yeah. But people don't understand the Ukraine. Ukraine. You know they were the worst. The worst. Do you know after the war in Poland, they used to make, they used to kill people. Now there's a reason why they killed people. See, when the American soldier came in to win the battle, yeah. he was battlefield. His family was safe. Yeah. The Russian soldier, when he came in to his he was battle and his family was destroyed. So if somebody went over to somebody, to Russia, and says, I know, these people collaborate with the Germans. Right. He took out his machine gun, lined them up, and finished. Yeah. So they said, you know what? We gotta keep the Jews from coming out now because they're gonna tell us. Right, exactly. See? But the Ukraine is there is something They were the worst. I'll tell you something. Um, when I was in college, I used to hike. I went, I went to school out west. I hiked throughout all the national parks. I was in Canada, hiking in a national park in Canada. And way in the back country, they had a cabin that could s sleep about 20 people. I was alone, hiking deep in the back country. I went to that cabin, and there was a whole group of young people with like a couple of adults. It turned out it was a Canadian, Ukrainian, group right. and I asked them oh what are you guys doing and they said oh you know we, we do these hikes and we learn about our culture and our history I said what kind of history he said oh we learn about Ukrainian history and we learn about our natural enemies and I said who are your natural enemies the Jews the Jews this I was mm. I, I you know listen listen, listen. I keep, I keep give me his check no 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 please you don't get a choice. The thing is, if you believe in the Bible to some degree, I say that it's a put up job. Why did he make Cain right. and Abel? Why did he make uh, Yaakov come out second uh, uh, against Asa? It's a put up job. But the, the thing is, you can put it all on one. Sure. Interesting is that that would find for us. If you don't have a negative, you cannot have a positive. That's true. But if it doesn't move, things are really getting better. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the only trouble you have to watch yourself, don't go too far. Yeah. That's why when. What advice do you give your grandchildren? I said, we will use to ask them together, have a boundary. Mm -hmm. Have a boundary. They say to me, well, then, so which boundary should I use? I said, I don't give a shit. As long as you know that there is a boundary, right. you cannot have a boundary. Right. What, 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 what business hat were you in? Oh my God. I was a pre med student until my father died. Uh huh. I was a Talmudic guy, they wanted to make me, make me a rabbi, which I couldn't stand. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I started working in a dress factory. Uh-huh. Smarter? Smarter business. I thought in the last years I had 250 women working. Uh -huh. Would you believe it, it was air conditioning. Really? And I had the, the scooters running back and forth. Where, in Brooklyn, or where were you? In the, uh, Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Perth Amboy, sure. Okay, back and forth. 
but I was way ahead. The last 30, 40 years, I made my money on the, on the markets. Really? Either investing or directors and trading. And I still trade now. Really? And if you have money in the market, you very really can. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. You, there are a bunch of gonnets in the back. Remember me. I just marked it as a potential of coming down 70%. Oh, don't That's tell me that. Don't tell me that. Uh, <laughs> He's been around long enough to know yeah, what that right. feels like. Wait a second. In his lifetime. Yeah, of course. Japan. Uh -huh. You know what the Japanese market used to be? 40,000. Yeah. You know what the low Japanese market was below seven. With all the money they pour in, right. it's all what kind of shit they're pouring in. They, they give the banks for nothing. Right. They're charging you 18%. It's a con game. How many times? Mostly it's a con game. Well, so the point is you're a young guy. If you sell off some stock, yeah. you keep it in cash. Mm -hmm. So they tell you, oh my God, but I don't get You always got to have some liquidity. I don't get my dividends. I'm going to use the bathroom. Excuse me, one, I'm just going to use the restroom. But I want to videotape your story. Mm -hmm. well, what are you? Yeah, I'm not going to get the dividends. That's When you lose a dollar, you have to make two dollars before you get what you got somewhere. It'll come back. But when it's down there, think about it. That's right. It's really high now. Really, really high. For no reason. No, it could be up even higher. Uh huh. Because there's no limit when the boys can play. It's a fancy. Yeah. It's controlled today with computerization. Mm hmm Yeah. And I only did it with my mom. And, uh, but, but you, you have some very good stuff. But what happens in the next 15 years, this market goes down 50% and you need the money. Right. In any business, it's the cash flow that counts. Otherwise, you can wipe your tooth at the your ass. Yeah, we know it too. Okay? Cash flow is the trick. You've got to be able to pay the bills. That's right. Well, it's very interesting talking to you. That's true. You live around here? I live now on 23rd in Cooper Village. In Cooper, Peter Cooper Village? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move back up town. The mentality is different. Uptown? Mm -hmm. I, I am a, a risk taker, but not a gambler. I take risks, but I don't gamble. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ready? When I lost. Listen, the oil business, when they took it out from 150 to 20, you know how many people went broke? Yeah. Those are the markets, my friend. I was in it. Yeah. I had oil wells, I was professionally drilling. Up to 42, they took it down to 10. Right. We cleaned out everybody. And then you buy it back. 